All right, in this video, we are going to cover an introduction to the different parts of the nervous system to prep us for a few labs next week and a general overview for how the system works and how information travels throughout your body. The nervous system is separated into two parts. We've got the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord, and then the peripheral nervous system, which is all the nerves that travel throughout your body um, to every uh, finger, toe, leg, arm, um, throughout your core, etc. Here is an overlay of the two of them, the spinal cord and the brain. So you're showing the central nervous system and then all of the nerves, all of your neurons. Um, we have other cells in our nervous system, um, but the neurons are the cell that transmits most of the information. The other cells are supporting cells. Um, so we're gonna focus on our nerves, which are made up of neurons. Um, inside of our peripheral nervous system, we're broken up into a couple more branches. Sensory or afferent with an A, this one's a little hard to see. Um, those neurons conduct signals from our extremities, um, from our body, back to the central nervous system. Um, so those are, and you can kind of think of those sensory, they're taking in all of the sensory information from our, all of our senses, taste, touch, smell, hearing, sight, etc. cetera. Um, and they're going, that sensory information is going back to the brain um, to process it. We have motor or efferent with an E, neurons um, leave from the central nervous system and go out to the body. Um, they're motor because a lot of them are used to uh, move our muscles and to move, um, to motor us. So that's where you can kind of think of it um, in their efferent E um, exiting the body. Um, so signals from the central nervous system to the uh, peripheral nervous system. We also have what we call inner neurons, um, and those sometimes are connecting from the central nervous system to the peripheral or the, mo um, the motor neurons, or sometimes they just make a complete loop. So certain information doesn't even need to go all the way to the brain, um, and those inner neurons are able to process it um, in the spinal cord and uh, create an effect sooner. That would be the type of thing like you stuck your hand on a flaming hot coal um, and your body needs to get that hand off of that before it burns um, to protect itself and doesn't have time to get all the way to the brain and be processed there. It's happening even quicker um, and that's when those inner neurons are making this loop of sensory, inner neuron, motor, um, burning finger directly to moving the finger off of that hot, hot stimulus. Um, but often, most of the time, it goes back to the central nervous system. Um, this is a different representation of it. Um, you can see that we have different types of sensory um, stimuli. We'll go into all of these different ones, um, but we'll at this. But that'll be at a later date, so don't worry about the difference between the somatic and visceral at this point. Um, but I would like us to think about the difference in the motor neuron um, or the motor division, that efferent division leaving the central nervous system and out to the peripheral division, because there's both the somatic, um, and that's all of the skeletal muscles, as well as the autonomic, um, which is smooth muscles, cardiac, autonomic, remember, is like automatic. This is the stuff that's somewhat out of our control. Um, though we will soon see that there are aspects of this that you can control. Um, and you are all controlling this every day when you are um, getting yourself amped up for a race or cooled down and relaxed afterwards. Um, these slides are all on Canvas for you to check out for a little bit more difference. Um, so you can see all the different parts. We've got the central nervous system again, the peripheral sensory information coming in, motor um, information going out to, to make stuff happen. Somatic, um, this is all of our voluntary movements. We are trying to move our skeletal muscles, um, anything that's we are taking control over, um, where the autonomic is involuntary. 
We're gonna go into more detail now on that autonomic and specifically the sympathetic versus parasympathetic division. You may have heard of these, um, especially because they're very, very closely related to your training um, and your ability to be at the correct level um, of preparation. Um, Sorry, we'll come back to those. I want to go right now to the parasympathetic um, versus sympathetic. Your parasympathetic system is also known as your rest and digest system. This is the calming system, while the sympathetic nervous system is your um, fight or flight. This part gets you ready for action. Sympathetic gets you ready for action. Parasympathetic gets you calmed down um, relaxed, recovered. Um, and they work uh, in conjunction with each other. And some people need to amp up more of the sympathetic versus the parasympathetic um, in terms of what they need at that moment. Um, lots of different ones, but we'll start with the fight or flight, this, uh, this sympathetic nervous system. This is amping you up for action. You can think of it um, in evolutionary times that somebody was being chased um, by a wild animal and needs to escape uh, to survive. So cortisol is released, which is a stress hormone that amps up the body, um, gets it fight ready for action. Oh, here's another one. Um, saliva flow decreases. Saliva is used for digestion. We don't need to digest food when we're amped up for this last, these fast actions because Digesting food is storing it for later. We're only thinking about the here and now. Eyes, your pupils are d dilated. Um, that brings in more light, allows better sight. Lungs, quick, deep breathing, um, bringing in more oxygen more quickly to get it to all of the, um, all of the tissues. More oxygen um, is better for uh, continuing that aerobic system, making more ATP. Heart beats faster and harder to deliver that oxygen, so your blood pressure will increase, your heart rate will increase. Um, your blood vessels constrict. Uh, that is less heat loss. Everything, all that blood's um, brought to the tissues that you need. Stomach, um, decreased digestive enzyme. Again, we don't need the to digest for later. Muscles becoming more tense, um, ready for action. Blood pressure increases, like we said. Major vessels dilate to send... Um, blood to all the important things in the bowels, food movement slows down. We don't need to um, be digesting food. We just need to be using food for now. Um, you can see again, urine production also on star slows or stops. Glucose is released for instant energy. That's that quick feel. Um, adrenaline is released uh, to increase strength, have that additional power um, hormone that's ready to go. Um, the immune system is also depressed. We don't need to be fighting off things for later. We just need to be surviving in now. So that's our fight or flight, uh, amped up, ready to go. And this is all the sympathetic nervous system. The opposite is we have this parasympathetic nervous system. This is our recovery mode. Um, for those of you who are in the uh, WHOOP class, you can remember this is what your heart rate variability is showing. Um, when you're measuring recovery, your pupils are constricted, your salivation, saliva production is increased for digestion, so you can store energy for later. Your heart rate slowed, so it's using less energy. Your bronchi are constricted, so less oxygen being transported. You're stimulating digestion, so you're um, uh, storing food for later, storing energy for later, contracting the bladder, um, so that you're filtering out toxins, um, filtering out the, ex, uh, the excess stuff so that for urine production. Um, so all of this is helping you recover and slow down. Um, and there are different ways to stimulate either the parasympathetic or the sympathetic nervous system, whether you need to get amped up or um, slow down. A lot of mindfulness breathing um, control can uh, stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, um, where some of your physical activity, getting really amped up, jazzed up, is going to get your sympathetic nervous system going. And they both work um, in opposition with each other. 
<laughs> um, this is another representation of the fight or flight. I encourage you to, it's all coming from that hypothalamus, um, which is, remember, in the part of the brain that stimulates your endocrine system. So stimulating some of those stress hormones, norepinephrine, epinephrine, um, different forms of adrenaline. Um, and again, here's, we see all of these are op opposing um, actions. Sympathetic, getting you amped up. Parasympathetic, getting you cooled down, um, relaxed. This is coming from the um, autonomic nervous system, a division of the parasympathetic nervous system. Um, that is separate from this. We can actually come back to that. I'm going to go one more thing. Um, again, for all of this, we're going to talk about reaction speeds next week um, and reflexes and do a couple different labs on this. But for all of these, it's important to know in your sensory nervous system that a receptor senses a stim stimulus, gets sent from the, the peripheral nervous system to the central nervous system, um, the integration system through both your, your spinal cord and your brain, decide what to do with that. Um, and then they send information back down the neuro motor neuron um, to the site of the stimulus. So that in this case, it's that nail that your foot stepped off um, causing an effect. And these loops continue to happen throughout your body. Remember those neurons are really, really fast going at 250 miles an hour or more um, to have quick integration um, and quick action from the control of your nervous system. So that's all for now. Um, we are going to pick back up next week looking at the actual um, workings of each individual neuron um, and how those are uh, sending those signals um, and how each in neuron makes connections with other neurons. So that'll be work for next week, um, but this is the, the overview of the nervous system.